Yo, my hair loss sisters. Did you know that 10% of women under the age of 40 experience serious hair loss? It's often chalked up to pregnancy or deficiency anemia, but so many women suffer from what's called female pattern alopecia. People often complain to me about a widening part or a very thin ponytail. But unfortunately, women that may have a higher level of androgens, especially PCOS, can also notice hair loss along the hairline, which is more typical of male pattern bulk. Unfortunately, a lot of this is due to our genetics, which is complex, but it is due to a hormone called dihydrotestosterone. It's important to recognize this early and treat it early. Minoxidil remains the only FDA-approved treatment for hair loss in women. But using an anti-androgen is super important. If you're losing hair from your part, it is super important to add spironolactone and the dose should be at least 100 milligrams a day. If you're losing hair from your hairline, it's super important to consider finasteride or even better, dutasteride for that type of hair loss. And finally, don't forget to add latanoprost, which is a chemical that allows the hair to grow longer and stronger and keep it growing. These medications have robust clinical trial data in hair growth. And while PRP and microneedling are just upcoming treatments with not as good of data, combining multiple treatments can improve efficacy. Follow for more hair care tips.